Each enzyme works at its fastest at a particular pH value. This is the optimum pH. Different enzymes will have different optimum pH. Okay, so the rate of enzyme activity decreases when the pH value is not at its optimum. Okay, we can take a look here. As you can see, stomach's enzyme works best at pH 2. Okay, so it is optimum, its activity is optimum when the pH is 2, and it starts to slow down when the pH is 1, start to slow down when the pH is 0. Okay, start to slow down when pH is 3, start to slow down when pH is 4, completely no activity at pH 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 14. Okay, on the other hand, the enzyme in the enzyme in the mouth works best at pH 7. In other words, it still works slightly at 6, still works slightly at 8, but at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all this, it doesn't work anymore. At 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way to 14, it doesn't work anymore. Okay? So, I'll give you a brief outlook on what is happening um, and what are the optimum pH in all digestive system. So we have the mouth, we have the esophagus, we have the stomach, and we have the small intestine. These are the regions where Digestion occur. If digestion occur, we need enzymes to speed up digestion. Mouth, the optimum pH is 7. Esophagus, there is not uh, no really um, exact pH that it has, but it will take after the mouth. Okay, stomach, pH, optimum pH will be 2. Small intestine, optimum pH will be 8. 8 or 9, okay? We will write it as 